is Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Here's part two to the video that we did. Um, it was about the aluminum in the hallway, and this is what we found. So a multi-branch circuit system, and this is back in the 60s, had a jacket around it and, of course, a ground. I don't have it. This used to be the neutral. This used to be the black, and this used to be it, the red. And so we had a, a, a black, red, and then I didn't do white. I just did blue on there. But all of this melted in the fixture box. And the culprit, not just because it was aluminum, that had to play into it. Also, the fact that all the junctions went to that light before it headed to the panel, that had to do with it too. But the biggest detection was that they had the two breakers on the same phase. So that is exactly what we found and we had to go up in the attic and splice a couple of boxes using our aluminum copper splice with our pigtail copper, uh, the, the, the right rated um, alumicons and or what we call ideal twist caps to make sure that the dissimilar metal is satisfied according to article 300. But this right here shows you that our weakest link was not just article 110, 14 about the weakest link in the chain was this. It was really because of the fact that the breakers were being doubled up and, and the customer actually is a is an engineer but he was I think he was fairly correct when he said okay so if we have two phases on one neutral could we be doubling up on that neutral being if one's running 10 and the other one's running 12 are we going 22 now and I think that might have been what's been happening but this could have been happening over 40 years and it took this long now how he found it I don't know other than the light was out but he said he went up to grab the light and it shocked him and then what I found was another guy ran a single independent wire freelance through the attic and picked up a neutral from another light. So, man, as soon as that 110 went out on one side of the breaker, the other one back kicked as a back kick. And what we call a, um, not really a closed neutral, but a back feed. And when it back fed, it was reading 133 volts. And when that happens, you can start blowing your computer and all kinds of stuff. So it's really important to have a search protector a 110 search protector on each appliance if you're going to do that, like your computer or your radio, your stereo, your, your TV or whatnot. It doesn't hurt to have a search protector on the whole house, but that really protects you from shunts from Excel or your power company, whoever that is. That protects you also from maybe lightning strikes that your neighbor got hit. Um, but when you have a 110 dedicated search protector, it would help protect you in case something like this melts in a light fixture that no one would even detect. So again, guys, when you're, when you're messing with your breaker system, and I do not suggest you to open your panel unless you know what you're doing and you have the proper education and gloves, but when you open that dead front cover and you see a black red and a black red and a red black and a black red, it's not just for your electrical range because if your electrical range was on the same phase, it wouldn't even heat. If your dryer was that at 240, it wouldn't heat. If your water heater, your baseboard heaters, nothing would heat. Your air conditioning wouldn't even turn on. It would sit there and just probably buzz. But when you lose 240 to a branch circuit system, that neutral is so desiring to go back to earth, it'll even use the ground. But this guy, as crazy as whoever did this in the home in the past, he ran a dedicated neutral, and that thing started to burn in the attic. So again, um, we did find the issue. It was a four and a half hour job, um, and it was a pretty hard to detect, but it melted so much that if this insulation was rated at 90 degrees Celsius or 197 degrees Fahrenheit, it melted probably at 250. It didn't take much to do it, but it did it. And it's aluminum, so that didn't help it either. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week.